My name is Donna Bickle. I'm a bookkeeper. I live in Larkspur, California. When I read the poem for the first time, I read the first five lines, and I immediately burst into tears. And uh, because it reflected something about myself that I had never articulated or thought about clearly, but was so deeply true. As I continued reading, it got very dark. And towards the end, it made me laugh. And I think that a poem that is true to the essence and can make you laugh is extraordinary. I didn't know what a hornworm was when I first read the poem. I had to look it up, and I consulted my uh, farmer friend, who immediately said, Ooh, that ugly worm? Am I on my tomatoes? And uh, what I found out from him and from reading was, yes, it is a particularly ugly worm. Hornworm, Autumn Lamentation by Stanley Kunitz. Since that first morning when I crawled into the world, a naked grubby thing, and found the world unkind, my dearest faith has been that this is but a trial. I shall be changed. In my imaginings, I have already spent my brooding winter underground, unfolded silky powdered wings and climbed into the air, free as a puff of cloud to sail over the steaming fields, alighting anywhere I pleased, thrusting into deep, tubular flowers. It is not so. There may be nectar in those cups, but not for me. All day, all night, I carry on my back, embedded in my flesh, two rows of little white cocoons, so neatly stacked, they look like eggs in a crate, and I am eaten half away. If I can gather strength enough, I'll try to burrow under a stone and spin myself a purse in which to sleep away the cold. Though when the sun kisses the earth again, I know I won't be there. Instead, out of my chrysalis will break like robbers from a tomb, a swarm of parasitic flies, leaving my wasted husk behind. Sir, you with the red snippers in your hand, hovering over me, casting your shadow, I greet you, whether you come as an angel of death or of mercy. But tell me, before you choose to slice me in two, who can understand the ways of the great worm in the sky? <laughs> I love that last one. The hornworm's expectation were not necessarily um, all in his imagination because in nature a hornworm is a caterpillar kind of animal that is, uh, spins a cocoon and um, emerges quite a beautiful moth. It has always been my dream to be transformed. Some always, on my entire life since I was a child, thinking that the future would be better, that I would be better in the future. I've um, pursued that in many different ways, through religion, through spiritual practice, through therapy, and uh, I have never been transformed yet. I'm um, in my 60s. To recognize that in myself and to, at my age, to see that um, maybe not <laughs> uh, made me weep. And when I read this poem, it reminded me of that life situation, my life situation. Poetry, this poem, uh, Mr. Kunitz using the voice of the hornworm 
uh, in such a loving, accepting way, allowed me to accept that part of me that isn't going to transform.